all right once again this is Raymond your friend I'm here once again to educate or to teach you on how to worship God in spirit and in truth how do we worship God in spirit and in truth I have some tips to share with you all right so I'll take it one by one point number one here is prayer point number one here is prayer prayer is very important when it comes to worship worshiping God in spirit and truth you need to create that kind of atmosphere in the name of prayer all right when you consistently pray your way of worship is going to be very concrete okay prayer is very important as to the bible let us know that we should pray without season the bible let us know that consistent prayer or the fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much all right so your prayer life is going to help you to be able to be unite or you'll be able to go closer to God in worship and in spirit all right and in truth so point number one here as I'm sharing with you is prayer prayer is very important point number two point number two the more your relationship with God the more your worship will be the more your relationship with God the more your worship will be how is your relationship with God when it comes to worshiping God in spirit and in truth your relationship with God is going to be something we call, if you don't know God, how will you be able to click without God? So you need to know the God you serve, all right? So you have that kind of intimacy. Create the intimacy with God. Create that kind of boundary, all right? Relate yourself. Go closer to Him. As to the Bible, let us know that when you go closer to God, God will also come closer to you, all right? So just feel very free to go closer to Him in your heart and you will be able to worship God in spirit and in truth. All right, that is point number two. Point number three here is that don't be afraid to worship. Do not be afraid to worship. Yes, someone who asks, how am I going to be that I will not be afraid to worship God? Yes, sometimes some people go to the presence of the Lord, they'll be scared to even shout, they'll be scared to even scream, they'll be shy to even roll on the floor, all right? If the Bible let us know that David does shouting, David does meditating, David does um, kneeling down and rolling on the floor, then we too, we can also practice that in our heart. All right? So worshiping God, you need not to be afraid. Do not be afraid when you are in the presence of the Lord to worship. Point number three, must remove your mind from certain things must remove your mind from certain things how do you remove your mind from certain things for instance you go into the presence of the lord and you are thinking about manchester and chelsea going to play football match so when you put that in your mind you see that your intimate or your relationship with god is going to cut off all right so you need to forget about that for some time and also bring your heart and connect your spirit with god and you'll be able to flow very well but when your motion, your gaze is on those things, you can't be able to flow and flow very well. So you need to remove your mentality, your mind from those things and gaze your motions on only God and you. And you'll be able to flow and worship God in spirit and in truth. All right. Okay. Point number four. Preparation of the heart. Preparation of the heart is very important. How do you prepare your heart when it comes to worshiping God in spirit and in truth? How do you prepare your heart when it comes to worshiping God in spirit and in truth? Yes, preparation of the heart here simply means that you need to ask for forgiveness of sin. Yes, everyone is a sinner. All right, so when you enter into the presence of the Lord, ask God to cleanse you from your iniquities. All right, then the God, the Bible says that He's just and faithful to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And also try to confess your sins before Him. Confessing your sins before Him, He is going to cleanse your heart and let you flow and flow very well. That is why the Bible let us know that your 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 way of life, when you 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 pray, you ask that God should forgive your sins with a, ma with, a, with a mouth, God will do that. That is why the Bible let us know clearly that with the heart man believe unto righteousness, all right? But with the mouth, confession is salvation. So the moment you confess your sins before the Lord, He is just and faithful to cleanse you. That is when the point forces preparation of the heart, all right? You have to prepare your heart very well before you come into the presence and also begin to worship, all right? In spirit and in truth all right point number five it's not about the instrument alone all right it's also about the lyrics 
Over here, someone will ask that doesn't mean that the instrument is not important. No, the instrument is very much important when it comes to worship. But also, some people put it this way, that, all right, without the instrument, I can't worship. You need to just remove your mind from certain things that, oh, the instrument, it is something that you have to do practice with your heart, without the instrument, all right? So when you begin to worship God, wherever you are, your closet, with your car, everywhere you are moving, you can sing a song from your spirit without even being in with the keyboard or the instrument all right that is one thing you have to also take look or you have to look at that is the lyrics the lyrics is very important the lyrics here is just that you know you have to put on the centered lyrics lyrics that are very connecting lyrics that can help you to move and connect very well these are some of the things you have to also use the lyrics are very important all right when it comes to worshiping god in spirit and in truth all right you go deeper and deeper in the okay point number six becoming a worshiper you need to listen to good worship song becoming a worshiper you need to listen to good worship songs what are some of the good worship songs yeah worship songs are songs that you know entice and kicks the human inner man so when you realize that some songs are not just worship songs you need to just isolate yourself from those songs and connect with worship songs that can move your spirit when you move you realize that you can flow and flow very well when it comes to worshiping god in spirit and in truth yes i know very for sure that worshiping god entails a lot of things all right we have so many characteristics of or the way of worshiping god in spirit and in truth but these are the tips that I have to share with you today. I know and I strongly believe that these tips will help you to be able to build on how to seek, seek this presence of the Lord, how to seek the presence of the Lord, and how to be able to flow when it comes to worshiping God in spirit and in truth. Yes, I know and I strongly believe that this one will also help you. Try to share with a friend, all right? And also try to click the button to subscribe. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you all. All right.